What popular saying is actually bullshit? Hard work never killed anyone. Coal miners would like to have a word. It doesn't matter who started it. Of course it fucking does. Even legally the concept of who did what first is recognized as vital. I've always hated that phrase in school. What the hell did they expect the second to do? Get hit by the bully? Fun story. In high school I was bullied daily. By the same girls. It went on for months. I did everything your back quote supposed to do. My principal's advice was to get an older student to walk around with me. They finally cornered me and beat me up. I was suspended because I was involved in a fight. They used the back quote doesn't matter who started it line on me too. It was my fault because I just happened to get my ass kicked that day. Yeah this is one of the most illogical, brain damaged and nonsensical lines I have ever heard. It doesn't matter who started it. Like okay let's apply this logic to World War 2. Does it make sense? Of course it fucking doesn't. And I don't know why it should. I agree. I'm still mad about it. And I've been out of high school for 10 years. Of course it matters. They're just too lazy to figure out who started it. Just blame punish everyone instead. It's more like they don't want to take responsibility bc they ignored you. And if they did admit that those bullies were obviously the ones who started it. It would come back on the administration who failed to protect you. It's easier for them to blame everyone as it absolves them from anything. Sleep like a baby. It implies that babies sleep really well. My second is 4 days old. I can confirm babies don't sleep well. I always come back at them with the fact that I would actually enjoy sleeping like a teenager instead. Those fuckers will sleep 14 hours without waking once and pop out of bed like they don't hurt everywhere. That's what I want. If you tell me the truth you won't get into trouble. One of bosses said this to me when I was hired. Don't ever lie to me. Tell me the truth and I'll cover it up. Apostrophe. Tell me the truth so I know how to lie for you best boss I've ever had. I'd still get in trouble. But it would be minor compared to what the higher ups would have done. Haha. <laughs> I tell that to all my crew and guys when they are hired. If you fuck up tell me. Don't hide it. I know what we can get away with and what we can't. I don't mind when people screw up and let me know. Shows they are willing to try. I hate people that sit on their hands and look confused and wait for some else to tackle it. This is the approach I take with my children. If they come to us honestly explaining what they did wrong, we won't punish them for punishment's sake. We know they know what they did was wrong. Just don't ever lie to us. If you lie, we can't help them learn or mitigate the damage for them. They are entirely on their own. So far it's worked out well. Except our middle boy. His ad is so bad that it takes a considerable amount of effort to get him to even remember what he did. We have to catch him in the moment and correct it immediately because 5 minutes later he's completely oblivious. Looks don't matter. They do. Not always. Not completely. But they very much do matter. Humans are kind of superficial in that regard. Violence is never the answer. It isn't usually the answer. But occasionally. It really is. Violence may not be the answer. But it is almost always an answer. Apostrophe. You are technically correct. Which is the best kind of correct. If violence doesn't solve your problems. You aren't using it enough. What goes around. Comes around. I've seen so many good. Honest people get screwed over by toxic. Immoral people who never get their commupants. The concept of karma is bullshit. Edit. Maybe karma was a bad word to use. As it has many definitions. The version I use here is the one commonly used within the secular communities of the western world. I. E. Within one lifetime. Rich people get away with horrible shit. Some corrupt politicians retire and never get caught. Murderers have lived normal. Sometimes fruitful lives until they died without ever facing prosecution. I've seen some of the best people get screwed over and screwed up by the shit thrown at them. No. The world is not some magical place where the scale balances itself out. It's actually worse than that too because ultimately they are being rewarded for their shitty behavior. This creates reinforcement in their actions which promotes and incentivizes that behavior in others. Mix in any form of punishment for doing the opposite and you get an incredibly toxic society. To say the least. 
This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Lies. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Breaks own leg. Congratulations. You were right. How does it feel? Never judge a book by its cover as someone who works in a bookshop. You're damn right I'm gonna judge the quality of a book by its production. As do most customers. I have gotten insights into the world of publishing and the decisions they make based on the quality and success of the product they are pushing. For instance, an author just starting out. The catchy title of the book is going to be the biggest text on the book. The author has brought out 3 to 4 books that are proving successful. The text size of their name is going to be equal to the title. Ian Rankin or Kate Atkinson, their name is going to be the biggest text on that cover because that's what draws customers in. I remember chatting to James Oswald who said I knew I had made it when my name got bigger a Scottish buyer is very good at sniffing out underdog books. Books that are incredibly well written but haven't got the recognition they deserve. And she will discuss with the publisher about changing the cover of the book to reflect this. Suddenly huge boosts in sales. When a customer is looking for an obscure title, and I look it up, I can almost immediately tell if it's a low quality independent publication by the way the cover looks. Disclaimer, much like with the underdogs, there are always exceptions to rules, and it is definitely not always the case that a low quality looking book is necessarily a bad read. It's just often an indication of a first time or unpublished author who hasn't had a chance to hone their craft yet. Opposites attract. They don't. Birds of a feather flock together. On the other hand, is usually true for relationships. I came in to post this. The back quote opposites attract sentiment only stands up on a superficial level. When you probe deeper you always discover there is a lot of commonality. My mum and dad looked like chalk and cheese on the surface. But below all of that they are wired very similarly. I thought my wife and I to be pretty different people. We don't share a lot of common interests. But it's the subsurface stuff that just continually made me realize how alike we are. And then I got an outside perspective recently when a cowalker said we talk the same. He insists one of us must have learned it from the other. But maybe it was just another commonality. My wife and I share core values. But we couldn't be more different. However, our differences complement each other. Where I'm weak, she is strong, etc. Yin and Yang. She is highly organized and will schedule every aspect of a vacation a year in advance. You'll have to remind me a week before that we are going on vacation. However, when a plan falls apart, so does she. Luckily, I'm the opposite and I'm highly adaptable to whatever is currently going on. So she might plan out every aspect of a road trip. But if a tire goes flat, she's in total panic mode. But I'll get us back on the road. Even though I only vaguely know where we are supposed to be be going. A relationship lasts when it brings out the best in all parties. Good things come to those who wait. Try waiting your whole life and see what comes to you. As an impatient person I've always taken this as put in the work and then don't fuck it up rushing. I feel like I'll learn this lesson daily. I'm gonna save this comment. Then never look at it again carrot. Sorry, I had to. Plus, I'm describing my own reddit habits, not criticizing yours. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. It might keep the doctor away, but the psych ward never has enough apples to keep 5 begodlers and a nurse with a needle away. That's what happens when you go bananas. Practice makes perfect. I had a teacher that used to point out that no, practice makes permanent. If you practice something in an incorrect way, you're going to perform incorrectly. My football coach used to say practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Apostrophe. My hockey coach used to say that. My karate sensei also liked to say that. My pimp used to say that. My stepdad says that. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Nah mate. It just gives you trauma. What doesn't kill you gives you trauma. Which in turn severely impacts other parts of your health personality, and general well-being in countless imperceptible ways that gradually changes you over time into a depressed, anxious, neurotic mess that requires regular therapy and medication so you can fight tooth and nail every single day against executive dysfunction and your own mind as you find yourself frequently paralyzed with fear because you've lost so much and any change to the status quo, awful as it may be, 
could risk losing what little you do have going for you and that's something you just can't handle. Because to lose any more would mean enduring even more pain and that very well might fucking kill you. But that doesn't fit on a motivational poster. It's just how I am. Well you're a fucking cunt. Change your behavior and act like a decent human. Edit. Ho. Thanks for the awards. Came here to say this. Well. That's just how S slash he is. Yeah. And that's the only metric I have to judge them by. I before E except after C. Except when your foreign neighbor Keith receives 8 counterfeit beige slays from feasty caffeinated weightlifters. Wit. I hate when that happens. It's almost every Tuesday. Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg are college dropouts dude they went to Harvard. Not community college. Exclamation mark. And Bill Gates dropped out because he was seeing enough success from what he was already doing.